Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Think from Down Under. Just a quick video today to put an end to this silly sinking paint tin nonsense. Now, I've duplicated Ranty's experiment. He had a couple of strange things going on in his um, fish tank, so I thought I'd do the same thing and see what happened in my fish tank and whether it correlates and all that. And um, this is my setup. You'll notice here now I've got um, some things on the top of a freezer in the corner. The top of the freezer is seen outside the tank and inside the tank. And they don't line up and this one is sunk down. And you might be tempted to say uh, that's the density in the tank that's causing that to sink down. And this is how things appear sunken on a flat earth as I said you may be tempted to say that but I will show you that that's not correct that this experiment is fundamentally flawed and I'll show you how it's very simple it's just that I had to make the tank and do the experiment just to check everything now I noticed this was down I noticed a few other things and I set about working out why. So eventually I got to putting a cup on top of the freezer and one half outside the tank, one half seen through the tank. Now you can see that this cup has both rose up and sunk down. So it is both loomed and sunk. So how does that happen? And I can tell you now that it depends, uh, because of the bending of light, it depends where your camera is as to what will happen. Now, it's very simple, and basically the reason for this experiment being not very suitable um, is in this picture. This picture, you see, I've shone a laser from just to accentuate the problem I've shone a laser over to the top of the freezer over there and this is the path that the light takes now because it's constant density tank that's a straight line in there or pretty damn close to it now this is a useless experiment because nothing's really happening inside the tank and this is where you have to do your experiment is inside the tank. So here, what will happen here is, you see, I've drawn this red line where the light from the laser hits this tank here. Um, and at this boundary where there's a, a medium change, a higher density, low density of air, high density of water, the light is refracted as per Snell's law. It goes in this direction, comes out the other side and is refracted down again. And so what this here, top of the freezer here, will appear to be down here. Now, if you aim your laser up, the opposite will happen. It will sink. So this is just a combination of the refraction at the front edge of the tank and the rear edge of the tank. Now I did try putting my camera up against the glass to see, but it doesn't actually make a great deal of difference. It makes a little bit of difference. But this experiment is not going to show you anything much other than the index of refraction is higher when the density is higher. And when you add more sugar, there's more sinking in parts of the image and there'll be more looming in other parts and there'll be a lot of other stuff in between because the density gradient even though you might think it is uniform it's never uniform you can get it close but it's never uniform so i'm just going to play a little bit from one of ranty's live streams you know, the scrutiny is good, Ranty. I'm, I'm happy to see they're scrutinizing it so much and coming up with ridiculous conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay to scrutinize, but what about if we scrutinize and come up 
with the fatal flaws in your experiment. Is that okay? I'm sure that you'd be happy for us to come up with some conspiracy theories. And now, and I know a lot of people have been accusing Ranty of dishonest behaviour and and um, all sorts of things. But but in reality, it's just a flawed experiment, and uh, the analysis by flat earthers is incorrect. Too quick to jump to the conclusion that the globe might be dead. The globe's never going to be dead. It's a fact of life. So, just how will this affect? the observation that I just did with the fish tank because the other observation I also had a similar setup so we've got to here's the blink test and so the set squares and the ruler are a little bit further away they should be right up at the edge of the tank um, to avoid this problem of the refraction coming into play at, at the interface of the tank and the air and this test should be repeated with those objects right up against the tank and possibly with a phone camera or something right up against the tank here in this case the results should not be affected so much because we've demonstrated that the refraction occurs in the tank so these things are in the tank this rise here this looming is inside the tank so it's not invalid as such but but just to make sure that there's no criticisms it, it could be done again and, and I may do it again uh, just to wipe out that little bit of doubt this here the effects of the density change in the tank are far greater than any constant effect of refraction so the uh, the this sort of effect here is uh, you will see that, and we do see that in nature. And just remember that the other thing that we do see in nature is that lasers curve over the curve of the Earth. Now flat Earthers love to point lasers over bodies of water, and they are all joyful when they can see the laser on the other side. But this here demonstrates that it's quite easy for the laser to curve. I mean, it, it's only a tiny, tiny little bit of curve over the ocean. Uh, it's 10 feet in how many miles? Not much. This here is a bigger curve than that. And so just remember that when you're shining a laser over the ocean... Oh, uh, yeah, bring it back on that it might just uh, be yep. curved <laughs> it might just curve over the ocean like this let's play that again do you see uh, that yep. 